What's up, brothers and sisters of the base world? This is Pasha from Base Tribe, and today we're going to review and unbox a wing travel base. So, this is the package that I received after a good uh, six months of waiting. So, it was a long time coming. Um, so, one thing to consider is uh, when you place your order, it does take a little bit of time uh, when you customize it from the wing base site. So, package looks kind of like conspicuously, very inconspicuous, I should say, because it's kind of small. It just looks like your regular Amazon package, but don't throw it around too much. It's a pretty expensive base in it. Um, so, it's packed well. Um, I already kind of messed with it a little bit, but this is the gig bag that it comes with it's just like it's just almost like a laptop bag size uh, there's a back strap here um, so you kind of throw it on your shoulder and uh, the base itself weighs about six and a half pounds so the gig bag is virtually weightless so here it is here's the baby um, this is what I've been waiting for, like I said, six months. And uh, went on the site, uh, just placed an order using the customizable screen that they have to build your own. And uh, this baby is just standard mahogany body, no top. Uh, didn't really need a fancy top on something like this that you're going to just kind of pack with you on the go. Uh, rosewood fretboard and I think the whole thing really is made out of mahogany so the neck and uh, the body all made out of the same wood a couple of options that I chose for the customization was this ramp here so we got a ramp here it looks like it's made out of ebony so you have a choice to either place a ramp between the pickup and the bridge and or and or place the ramp between the fretboard and the pickup so I chose the former and um, I also had a custom bridge here to get the 16.5 millimeter string spacing so just something that I feel comfortable with um, you'll have the option to get string spacing especially if you want like a six string this is a five string model obviously and um, it's headless so what we have here is an ABS headless bridge with tuners on this side uh, not on the side of the headstock obviously on the body side it says it's made in the USA right here see if you can see that, it looks like it's kind of like etched into the wood. Um, it has a number over here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it has its own serial number. Um, a couple of nice touches here. Uh, Bartolini pickups. That comes stock. Uh, passive electronics. These knobs are also really fancy. It looks like they're made out of ebony. Uh, and they turn and feel real nice. So that's pretty cool. Top loading jack. It looks like a good quality jack, not one of those imports that you just yank out with your cable. Um, and this is really it. Um, it feels it feels a little odd, I gotta tell you. So, like, if you position it this way, without a strap, it will be a little bit of getting used to because obviously you can't balance this thing. You need to balance it with... Uh, both of your hands to kind of keep it steady so yeah this thing needs to be played uh, either with a strap or if you're in some kind of a couch type of situation where you just like padded from all over um, this thing grand total came out to be about a thousand dollars so for an instrument like this for just like a travel thing I would say a little bit on the expensive side, but uh, but not too much. Uh, I mean, if you want to go fancy, they can build you pretty much anything. Uh, 
and you could get into the, like the two thousand dollar range just adding tops and ramps and active electronics and all that kind of stuff i didn't need i had no need for it so we didn't pick it and um it feels pretty well to play i mean just like acoustically it's got a feel of a real bass so what i was worried about so this thing is 16 inch scale what you're worried about with short scale instruments obviously is the tension you don't want those strings to be flopping around it's a five string i recommend if you're going for a five string with the wing uh classic like this which is what this is this is a wing classic bass uh starts at 7.99 but what i would recommend you to do is to go with the with the e through c tuning kind of like matt garrison so go through the rather than going for the low b which i don't know how well a low b would sound on an instrument like this um it might be floppy because the 16 inch scale is obviously very short um but with the e through c which is what i got going on right here um it actually feels it feels real i don't i don't feel any difference in tension um the strings that they come with are steel strings i could feel that on my fingers right away if you're used to nickel you're gonna feel those steel strings biting into your hands pretty quickly uh, unless you're like a metal player then uh, you just like your fingertips have probably turned into wood by now um uh so yeah i think the steel strings add to this comfortable regular feeling tension and um it feels pretty good uh these things are you know in at nam um there is a long wait time uh on the on the resale market these things are valued very very highly they sell for even higher than their regular order price because of the wait time so let's plug this thing in So overall, this thing, it sounds like a real bass. It doesn't have the biggest sound, obviously, in terms of low end. This thing is clearly lacking that oomph. But I mean, from a six pound instrument, I guess that would be expected. So as far as gigging in this thing, um, if you're gonna go for like a loud, kind of situation I don't think it would be a good idea something for like a jazz maybe top 40 kind of gig I think this thing could hold up and I mean as a practice instrument it, it more than does the job so the low end is a little thin but um, some other kind of sounds you know maybe some jazz or fusion folk you know it holds up pretty well in that um, and I'm putting it through an acoustic image amp um, it cues flat so the playability um, one thing that you'll notice right away when you get this thing um, the frets are small and I'm talking about like the spaces in between frets. I guess that's how it has to be on a 16 inch scale length. But if you have meaty fingers, if you have big, thick fingers, which a lot of us bass players either have or develop over time, you're gonna have a little bit of an adjustment period or maybe even a lot of an adjustment period um, kind of adjusting to the scale length and uh, just the space between notes is not very big it's something that would be typical like up the neck of a bass so definitely something to you know 
it's an adjustment period so I'm gonna be playing with this thing for a while until I feel like I'm at home with it and that arrow actually gets narrower obviously as the neck progresses towards the higher uh, register in terms of like just pure playability of the neck for me the neck is tiny bit on the thick side but definitely still very playable um, so I play a thin neck instruments so this is a touch a little bit too thick but definitely something I can get used to and uh, maybe it makes this thing sturdier which is a good thing because you know a thousand bucks is um, you should get something that lasts for that money but um, yeah with everything uh, I'm pretty happy with it hey guys thanks for tuning in for this review of the wing classic bass uh, please hit the like and subscribe and uh, we got a ton of bass gear to review and to go over with you guys so hit us up anytime at bass tribe peace